What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a big unboxing day. I finally have in my possession a 30th anniversary PlayStation 5, the digital edition. Oh, I'm so excited. If you've been following the channel for a while, you've heard me whining and complaining about not being able to get my PlayStation 5 30th anniversary. Oh, me, me, why, why, why? What a baby. You might be on something. You might be right. But this baby is satisfied. I got my pacifier. I got my console. So here's how it went down. No, I was not able to order this from a reseller and get it for 500 bucks. Had to buy this second hand. Fox, what did you do? How much did you pay? That's insane. That's crazy. Hold on. Wait just one second. So, uh, saw this on Facebook Marketplace. A guy had this. He was about 30 minutes away. Wanted $750 for it. So I thought, well, $750 is still a little high. I really want one, but I'm not going to pay that much. So I hit him up for $650. Would you take $650? Guy says yes. I sent him $100 to hold the console. He puts it, marks it as pending. And then the day before I'm supposed to meet the guy, he says, hey, uh, I got a guy that's willing to pay retail, or not retail, but uh, asking price. Would you be willing to go up 50 bucks? So I told him, send me back my deposit. No, 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 he's very apologetic. No, what do you mean? Uh, uh, send me back the deposit. No, I'm just, uh, listen, I feel bad. Uh, I'll, I'll pay you what, you what you said, the agreed upon 650. I said, sell to the other guy, send me my deposit. He did. I was disappointed, but I was happy knowing I wasn't going to have to pay, you know, $750. i am not going to pay too much for this thing. I don't mind going a little bit overboard, but that I think beyond $650 was just too much. Then, a day and a half later, I get a message from the same guy. Hey, uh, the other buyer flaked. Would you be willing to pay $650 again? Would you? Hey, buddy, come on back. I intentionally ignore the guy, and then he hits me up one last time and says, Hey, I'd be willing to do $600. So, so basically, if you bought this, if you're lucky enough to get this, you paid five fifty for it. I got this for six hundred. So fifty dollar premium. I didn't mind it. It was a fun cat and mouse going back and forth. There probably wasn't another buyer. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say there probably wasn't another guy. But enough about that. Let's dig into this unboxing. I'm really excited about this. If you saw, I do have a uh, 30th anniversary. Uh, let me just open this up. A 30th anniversary controller. That I was able to get, picked that up legit, and uh, paid full price for that. I was happy to get it. Really happy to have this companion piece with it. So let's go ahead and open up the box. Take a beautiful look at what we got going on here. This is just... I just, I love this. Let's see if I can raise the microphone and show you exactly what I'm talking about. This design on the inside with all of the different I mean just crazy the number of PlayStation accessories and games and devices and consoles and just everything I mean they even have the UMD down here where was it at? I just saw it yeah, right there they have the PSP UMD uh, disc on here it's just great I mean chargers uh, controllers uh, move controllers the PlayStation I I mean everything from back in the day um, it's just really cool. PSPs down there, PS Vitas. I absolutely, uh, absolutely love it. Great, nice touch. Make it feel very premium. Of course, you have right there the anniversary. Let me let me spin this around so you can see this. There we go. Look at that. The 30th anniversary. Let's go ahead and slide out. Let me go ahead and slide out the box. The box inside the box. Oh, come on, come on, PlayStation. Go. You're gonna notice a severe lack of white. Like, there's no white packaging in here. It's all gray. They really, like, double and triple down on the actual, uh, and then just the gray. All of the 30th anniversary edition is all over every bit of the packaging. Let's spin this around. Just like that. I did crease the cardboard just a little bit. Let's go ahead and take this up. And take a beautiful look. Oh, this, and I've seen this in other reviews, but this just looks awesome. Check that out. Beautiful. PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, and of course 5. Take this. Let's take a quick look at what's going on inside here. This box is going to contain some of the goodies that I'm actually not going to unbox. We got the controller right here. We can take a quick look at that. Everything, once again, no white, all gray, all premium. 
controller looking beautiful oh i love it i'm gonna probably keep this in the box maybe maybe not maybe i'll use this one and keep the other one in its appropriate box let's put you off to the side like this took them in there like that there we go and then we have this box here that includes this is going to be your instructions you can tell by the little paper thing instructions there gonna put that off to the side a little gift, a little gift box. And here's gonna be all of your stickers and decals and whatnot and the actual, oh yeah, oh yeah. Instructions on how to install your PlayStation controller covers. Here is the sticker right there. The PlayStation controller cable, the USB cover. I'm gonna leave that right there. The, uh, is that the paperclip? That's the famous paperclip. It is. That's the paperclip. And then, of course, your cable ties are in there. Let's go ahead and throw this back in here. Keep this inside. I'm going to keep most of this stuff together. So, right there. And this is just nothing, right? This is just, yeah, it's just cardboard. Put that there. Going to have your power cable here. Get a power cable. And then these are going to be, I believe this is your feet. The console. Yep. Oh, yep. There we go. These are the horizontal feet, and nothing really special about these, I don't believe. Yep, it's gonna be should be standard right there. Gonna have those right there. Da, da, da. This and what's in here? This is okay. So you have a, you have both sets of feet for the horizontal mode. If you have your if you're gonna keep it digital, you got the shorter ones. If you're gonna go uh, physical with the disc drive. You can go with the taller ones or shorter ones, I should say. There we go. And this is going to be, once again, the branding is awesome. You can kind of see the very, very subtle um, 30th anniversary in there. It is just etched in every single part and piece and thing that you have. Go ahead and switch to the there go, front camera. Take a side. This is going to be your drive cover at the 30 and then all the uh, little symbols are going to include the three Get that offside I'm gonna take the wrap and put this back inside here and then we'll eventually take just the standard cover and slide it in there keep everything together what else is in here what else we got we have the vertical stand Another thing I'm going to keep for sure. Get this out. Use this. You're looking at oh, very, very gray. Check this out. The matte gray finish looks phenomenal. It's really good. More 30th anniversary etching all over this thing. It's just awesome. And inside should be the little screw. And this is gray. So there you go. And then last but not least, what is uh, what is in the bottom? Looking like, uh, okay, you've got your HDMI cable. Nothing really special about that. Just an HDMI cable, black HDMI cable. Nothing going on there. But in keeping with the PlayStation aesthetic, you've got this very dark gray USB cable, uh, USB type C cable, and it does have a 30th anniversary branding on that. Let's go ahead and take out the console, the thing that everyone is really wanting to see. And then we have the poster that comes with this. And I'm actually not going to open up this poster. It's got the same backing. I don't know, I'm kind of curious to see. Well, you know what, I'm gonna keep this all sealed up. Keeping it sealed up. Put that down there. And now the console. Let's sit down, kids, in all of its glory. Quite possibly the last um, console they're going to have, anniversary console. You think they'll have a 40th anniversary? Do you think in 10 years we'll still be buying physical consoles? Maybe. But I don't think there's a chance in hell we're going to have a 50th anniversary. And this is definitely one of the best. I mean, down, like I said, again, down to all the packaging, everything, all the creating, everything is this gray. And it just, 
It just looks awesome. All right, here we go. Beautiful. Flip it around. And here we go. Look at this. This looks good. This looks good. Whoa. That's not just a sticker behind the plate. I think that's actually on the plate itself. So yeah, the gray. It looks good. It's a good looking gray. I like it. I dig it. Of course, 30th anniversary edition right there. This looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and gently no blades involved at all. We're not going to get any blades near this console. This console will get used, but I'm going to be very... I guess I'm kind of on the fence. It will get used unless my, unless my other console doesn't sell. There we go. Let's take a look at this. Something I wanted to see for sure. Okay, yeah, this, so here we go. We still have, for those of you familiar with PlayStation, especially the slim versions. Well, this was on both versions. Take a look at that right there. The uh, the little PlayStation cutout or indention is still there. The 30th anniversary actually has it. It's actually a part of this top case. So it's not just a see-through portion, you know, and then you, uh, you get the sticker. Like we've seen on, uh, you know, you buy this stuff on Amazon and eBay. But that is... Different for sure. 30th in there. It's very, very subtle. But uh, yeah, this just looks great. Take a close look here at the gray of the internals. See the 30th anniversary right there. It's all very gray. Check it out. That's cool. Put that in place. Put you back on. Oh. I hate the way that feels on a regular PlayStation. On this one, it's kind of, it's even worse. All right, so we got, you know, I figure while I'm here, let's go ahead, let's take off. We got the, uh, we got the disc drive cover. Let's go ahead and pop off very gently. Ah, oh, damn it, I hate that. And here we go. All right, got that on there. Nice. Beautiful. Looking good. Looking good. I like it. And while we're still here, let's go ahead and put in our hard drive. This looks like, oh, look, at, this is, so just, just for reference, check it out. Even the little screw here has the 30th anniversary. Right there on the screw itself. This is just a one terabyte drive. We might do more in the future, but I like to buy a lot of physical media, so hopefully that won't be an issue. Now this looks better, you know. Um, they could have done something cool for the cover, but that's okay. That's okay, no big deal. Screw, the official screw of the 30th anniversary console. Put that in there like that. All right. Don't over tighten, don't wanna scratch that. Looking good, and boom. There we go, looking good. Okay, let's, uh, last thing, let's go, go ahead and put the stand on. Upside down, be very gentle. There we go, oh, 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 there we go. Like so. Oh, I think it's gotta be that one right there, right? Is that it? There we go. And we'll take our little official, officially branded screw. And of course, it's, uh, let's tighten this up with a arcade coin, as it should be. And then I think this piece, this little plastic piece, does it snap in there like that? Yeah, it does. Okay. So there's your little hole, cover, snap it in place, and boom! Here we go. Here we go. Looking good. All right. So it, everything is installed like it should. This thing looks beautiful. I like the disc drive on the side. It almost looks a little too skinny. 
um, when it's in digital mode. It just really is. But now we can probably take this out of the way, take a look at this bad boy like this. And now here we have the side-by-side -side comparison of the consoles. And yeah, a lot of stuff is just different. You can see the, the drastic contrast between the sterling silver and the gray. Just a big difference here. Absolutely a contrast. You know, the colors aren't the same at all. This almost looks purple when you compare the uh, the colors. The sterling silver almost looks purple by comparison. And then, of course, the chrome uh, stand and all that. This is um, this has been uh, this has been interesting. I absolutely love the way that these that this new console looks. This is kind of the way they kind of should have been. Should have been from the get-go, you know? So, like I said, I keep talking about uh, automotive stuff. Some of the new cars, the new colors of, like, Toyotas and, and Dodges and, and Nissans are definitely this muted gray versus a glossy black. So, you could see, you know, that's the difference. That's what we're talking about here. Definitely a huge difference for sure. So, now the big fun comes in transferring all my data. Uh, I've got a new drive. I'm going to have to register this disk drive to this PlayStation. I've got to format the... Uh, Remember the SSD and then uh, and update that and all that stuff and then um, should be able to just start re-downloading and filling up my new 30th anniversary PlayStation 5. This thing looks great and of course the price wasn't bad. Paying a $50 premium, you know, because I couldn't get my hands on the console is uh, is a price I was willing to pay. Anyway, that is uh, going to be a wrap. Let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. Y'all have a blessed day and I will see all of you right back here next time.